Okay, no, don't close that. So this couch is gonna go. It's a cute little couch. We bought a new futon for it, but let me tell you the problem. You cannot fit on it. It's so uncomfortable to sit on. Oh, let me move some of this. Anyway, I'll save all the pillows. Those are wonderful. We're gonna give them to some, we're gonna give this couch to um, someone who is working with Bali, who would love it and need it. So it's going to find a new home, but it is very uncomfortable to sit on. And then we put a new mattress because it's a pullout, which I did like having for guests. But Sam, back up. But I bought a futon for it and it's got a bar in the frame. The frame's got a bar in it. And so when my friend Oregon came to stay, it was a fiasco. We had to put extra pillows and all kinds of weird stuff. It was not comfortable. Anyway, so the point of this story is that it is a kind of a cute little couch, but there it's not comfortable at all. But we'll save those pillows because those are nice. These were free and fairly new. And uh, of course we won't get rid of the moose. Okay, and it's heavy. It's heavy and it's uncomfortable. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then the futon. This futon, we're gonna move into my office and it will be a guest bed. It is a comfortable guest bed because I also have a um, topper for it. But I don't like it out here because the mattress is big and heavy and it keeps sliding down, see? sliding down sliding down and it's making me crazy and the frame is actually scraping all my beautiful new paint job so um and it will probably do that in the office too no that wasn't the song i sang that what no that wasn't the song the song i sang was from and it was uh
and you look at his face like this, like this. Ah. I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to pick his hand. Oh, you got that in the book. He had all the babies have all the from very young age. Okay, so I had to really clean. I washed the walls and the floors and everything. I love rearranging the house because then you get to really clean. But, you know, see all this, like these walls? I haven't done, when I repainted all the rooms, and I didn't repaint all of them, but when I repainted most of them, I still have not painted the trim or the doors. That is next. I'm gonna wash and paint all the doors and the trim and the windowsills and the baseboards, but I guess I'm waiting for winter. I don't want to do it right now. Actually, right now, good time. No. The banter really hard. It takes so long to dry. I know, but right now is swimming time. This is the time you read books in the hammock and you swim. Look at my boss. My boss is really pushy. Okay, so, and also I'm not motivated. It took me forever to paint these rooms. What did it take me, like a couple months? I moved like a tortoise. Anyway, this TV was in this, it was a little TV in here. And all you could do was you have to either hook it up to cable or you can only watch um, videos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the nice big TV that gets Wi-Fi and Roku and Pandora and all that. And we're gonna put it in here. And I like it in here because I have absolute total control. And I need control because the kids watch stuff that they shouldn't watch, plus they put obnoxious music on, plus I really don't want the TV running all day because I'm a control freak and I don't, I want music while I write. But this, we decided to just keep one TV, which I like, I like. That was Bali's idea. He's, he's decluttering too. And his friend, we called his friend, who's gonna take the couch, they need the couch, and they just broke their TV, what, today? Um, Either yesterday morning or this morning, one of them knocked into the TV and broke it. So isn't that wonderful? I love giving stuff to people who really need it. You know, they're not gonna just shove it somewhere. Okay, is that it? All right, we did it. A lot of vacuuming, a lot of mopping, a lot of rearranging of things. Molly's, they had a little dog, so Molly is sniffing it out, right, Molls? Molly's like, who was here? I don't know, lovey. They had a little doggy, too. They had a little doggy, too. You could have been best friends. What do you think, Molls? You like it? There we go, that is super cute. Maria, did you see the couch? Yeah, look at that. Look at that, it's nice and firm too. You know, cause usually couches, you get them and then you like, they start sink, every couch we've had, that one couch we had was great, but it just starts sinking into the middle. But this is kind of small and firm. All right, and now some wonderful person is going to inherit a TV and a little couch. And they need a couch 
And the couch has a pullout with a new mattress on it, although it is not comfortable because there's a bar in the bed part. I wanna see how this is. And they broke their TV, like I said. So, yay. Okay, this kind of works. And look at behind me. I've got to dye my hair pretty soon, but I am waiting. I'm going to dye my hair a week before I go on the cruise. And I'm going to wax and pedicure. I have a big pedicure. You've seen it. Maybe I haven't filmed in a long time. Maybe it was in my old videos. I should stop talking about my old videos. You guys are going to get mad at me. I'll show you. I have a pedicure. When I do it, I'll show you. I have a big pedicure, what do you call them? Like bath, tub, and you plug it in and it does, it keeps it hot and it massages and it bubbles. Although the last time I used it, the massager did not work anymore. It wasn't that great, it just kind of vibrated. But it makes bubbles and it keeps it hot. Although that kind of is weird too, because sometimes I'm like, stop heating the water. Pretty soon I feel like I have lobster feet and it's starting to boil. So I have to like turn it off completely. And then I have a whole set of pedicure. I have everything. I even have those little razors because the bottom of my feet have thick callus and it scrapes the, you know, it's kind of safe, but it's a tool with a little razor on it that like peels off all the callus. So I have a full set. I've had it, I think a couple years or more. And so I do all my own pedicures, saving myself like what, 40 bucks or more. And then um, sometimes Grocery Outlet does not have blonde hair dye, believe it or not. And I have to be careful because there's one, what is it, Gardenia or something? I don't know. There was this one brand that was golden blonde and it even showed like if your hair is this color, it'll be this color. And I did it and my hair wound up dark brown. It was awful. I don't look good in dark brown hair at all. You would think like, oh, that might have looked nice and made your little blue eyes stand. No, I did not look good at all. So when, when Grocery Outlet has blonde hair dye, I stock up. I buy like three, four boxes. And then it lasts me for, I you know, I let my hair grow gray for a long time. I'm not really on it. But, um, and it, you know, I just kind of look at the box. I'm like, pretty color, and then I buy it. And I do prefer some, there's Revlon that's good. There's another one that supposedly colored your hair using just natural oils. Molly, what are you doing? Molly. Oh, it's something out there. It's like a woodpecker or something. I heard it. I thought the neighbor was building something today. But then it went on and on and it's still going on. And I realized it's a woodpecker of some sort. Probably on the fence or a tree. We, our house is stucco, so we don't have to worry about it. Anyway. So, and then I bought myself a wax pot. And I don't know if I filmed that. Did I film that? Oh, goodness gracious. Short-term memory, long-term memory, it's all gone. So, a little wax pot, which I've used those before, but I used the old kind and they were messy and after a while you just had to get rid of them. This one has a silicone insert. So when the wax hardens, you just pop it out to clean it out. I'm like, that is brilliant. So it's a handy little pot so I can do my own wax. And I've waxed my legs on and off for years. And that's another thing. If it, you know, is gonna have it done professionally, it costs a lot of money. You got it, you can't get up there. Come here. Are we gonna have to move the stairs in here for you? Yeah, we're gonna have to move the stairs. Molly has portable stairs and we move them everywhere so she can get up on everything. Oh, you don't have to sniff that out. That's, you know. <clears throat> so getting your legs fully waxed 
everything wax, your bikini area, everything is a lot. It's a lot of money and it's really personal. Like I don't mind my legs, but the bikini area, I'm like, it's a little too intimate for me. I know, I'm pathetic. Most people go and get Brazilians. I'm like, wow, that is like really intimate. And you don't even know these people. So anyway, I have a wax pot, I can do it. The wax pot costs about $40, $43 if you want me to link it, but let me try it first. If you want me to link it, I will, but let me try it. And what, what? Okay, you're stepping on my paintings. I've got this sweet little painting. I've got to now decorate this wall. And I think I'm gonna put your little cards. I'll just put all your little cards up. I used to have a P.O. box. I do not have a P.O. box anymore. I don't, I don't want to get a P.O. box, you know? Letters and cards are lovely and beautiful and I have a lot of lovely cards and letters when I was Coffee with Kate. And yes, I'll always be Coffee with Kate. But now there's all these other people who are Coffee with Kate. So I'm like, okay, I guess I had to turn over the torch. So now I'm just Kate, Kate Singh, author. But I don't, I'll tell you why I don't want to do it. I love the letters and cards, but then people would give me all these presents and I always felt a little guilty. I felt like, especially now, I feel like it's time to just buckle down, save your money. Like don't send me stuff. And also sometimes I would get things that people had spent their hard earned money and I just over time didn't have any use for them and they were just sitting there collecting dust so I would, give them to someone else, but I always felt really terrible about it because it was a gift from one of my subscribers, you know? So, and then look at me, I'm trying to declutter. I'm trying to declutter. So I don't want to take on, but I did, some people made me beautiful homemade gifts and I love these gifts. They're still hanging up everywhere in my windows, on my walls, but, um, you know, I just, I don't need any more stuff. And I feel like save your money, buy gifts for yourself in, do me a favor. Instead, when you think I want to get Kate some things, buy yourself something wonderful for yourself. That would be perfect. And so, yeah, I probably won't get, but I do have cards and I wanted to acknowledge them and hang them up. So I'm gonna hang those up and, and what else? Okay, so I'm gonna dye my hair, I'm gonna wax, I'm gonna pedicure, and I can do all of that at home for free. I mean, initially it did cost something, but it pays for itself like the waxing pot will pay for itself and earn its keep within the first, you know, mm -hmm. sessions pedicure thing I've had forever and it's definitely paid for itself a long time ago and um and I've mastered the art of pedicure my feet are a little bit I've always got garden feet in the summer I have garden feet but I'll do all my beauty treatments spa treatments everything what does that sound hearing all these weird sounds. Every time I'm, I start talking, I hear, it's the sound of my own voice. No, <laughs> I keep hearing things like out there, but then it stops when I'm quiet. Anyway, so there you go. I So I'm waiting. I've got quite a bit of gray and I don't mind it at all, but we're gonna like a week or two before we're gonna dye our hair and hopefully it won't turn brown. Hopefully I got the right stuff. So at grocery outlet, sometimes it's a risk because this was blonde hair dye, but they had put a bottle of brown in a box of blonde. Get what I'm saying? Because at grocery outlet, there's reasons why everything's discounted. It's either excessive, you know, it's, it was too much. The ha factory had extra or the stores had extra or something. There was a, something wrong with the label or they put the wrong dye in the wrong boxes. But that, that's only happened once. So anyway, I, I just buy whatever 
is there and looks like a pretty color because people always ask me what color do you use i do not have a specific color you know and i don't care if, if it's golden you know that's great and then what else I'm, i think i'm ready for the cruise we've got the backpacks those are coming we've got the shoes i got a bathing suit that's appropriate mommy appropriate and um i think that's it that's it and i'm trying to set aside some money in savings because when you're on the ship if you do fun things like I think there's laser tag and there might be bumper cars. I'm not quite sure, but those things might cost extra. And there's an arcade and that might cost extra too. So if the kids want to do that, that's fine. But here's the frugal part of our cruise. Okay. Number one, we did pay with our tax returns and I didn't use all, like I said, I used some of the tax returns for bunk beds, mattresses, sheet sets, and I paid a month of mortgage, okay? So these tax returns, boy, we work them, work them good. I paid everything in cash. I mean, not in cash, but I paid it all. It's all done. So I'm not gonna come home and get a big, huge uh, credit card bill. It's all done. Plane tickets, hotel, cause we're gonna fly over there, but we get there super late. So we need to stay at the hotel and then the next morning we board. And then there's the cruise. And all that's paid and then ever, almost everything's inclusive. So when we go to these towns, villages, islands, we will go and explore, but we're not gonna eat there. And I already told them, you don't need to eat there. You don't need to, you know, do any of that stuff because you got a ship that has buffets and ice cream parlors and, you know, and then you have a fancy dining room where you eat breakfast and dinner. And there's, you know, there's the, the buffet, there's a whole place, it's all buffet. There's taco, Indian, Asia, oh my goodness, great salad bar. And there's no need. There's no need to go and buy food, you know, and it's great to support those villages, but if I'm gonna spend money, I'm gonna spend money on like craft, some kind of craft or art or something like that, not food. But I'm not gonna spend money on any of that this time. I'm gonna be really cheap this time. So we can go and play and we can hang out. Now, if there was something like, you know, um, some kind of arrangement where you could ride your bike out to the waterfalls and, you know, any kind of like active, do these trails or ride out to this waterfall or, you know, do a, a zip line over, you know, I will pay for that. I'm happy to do that, but not, I don't want to bring any stuff with us because we only have our backpacks. We don't need to buy anything, even though I'm going to want to, because anything that's bright and sparkly, I'm like, oh, I gotta have it. And that's why I'm always decluttering because I see bright and sparkly things all the time on the street. And food, not even drinks. It's like, you do not need it. So we will eat and live on the ship. We'll go explore on the in the villages and the islands. Um, and I hope that things are pretty peaceful. Sometimes, I know we're going to a couple little Mexican places and sometimes those are really sad. You know, there's like a lot of people begging and that, and I can't handle it. Like <clears throat> we used to go on the carnival and I forget where we, Catalina Island was nice, but there was another place we used to go and I couldn't even handle it. The second time I didn't even get off the ship. I didn't even do it. I'm like, I can't, I can't take it. It breaks my heart. So we didn't, <clears throat> and they have bus tours where you can go up to villages and, and the very first time I was with my friend Star, we went up to this village on this bus. And it's really sad because you see all these um, like communities that are built out of boxes and tarps and whatever they can gather. And there's all these children that are begging. And <clears throat> it's not, go look at the timer. What does the timer say?
Oh yeah? Okay, I'll check it. Um, and then we went up to his village and I ate one of the churros at the village and Star said, do not eat anything in this village. And I did, cause I'm a little piggy and I was like, but it's a churro. And then I was sick all, I couldn't even join the diner, our little table, our group that night. I had to stay in the cabin throwing up and watching Lion King all night. Cause I just had to have the churro. So I'm like, just don't eat anything anywhere. And then, you know, when we get on there and then with the cruise, everything's included except for a couple things like a laser tag or whatever. So if they want to do that a couple times, that's fine. But I'm like, do the stuff that's included. Like there's surfing, there's rock climbing, there's zip lines, there's those little windy tubes, slides that are crazy. I mean, like there's tons of things to do that are all included. So it's like, just let's do it frugal. Now that we've blown all this money, let's do it frugal. All right, I'm gonna check our enchiladas and I think I'm gonna sign off. I don't know how much cleanup I'm gonna do. Everything's in disarray, I gotta hang stuff. I don't even have nails. I don't know where the nails are. I found two hammers, no nails. So I'm gonna do a little decorating, a little organizing. And um, it'll probably be a great opportunity for me to do a little more purging too. Good morning. Uh, I am, okay, my computer shut down. What's happening here? Uh, I am working on my videos so my desk is over here now so i have to decorate this wall and it's not as well lit or lovely as over there by the window and i already miss being by the window but i tell you what honestly you know stephen king in his book on writing that's the title on writing he talks about creating a space. A lot of writers, this is for you writers or budding writers or dreaming writers, or if you want to write someday. Or A lot of writers will say that you need to create a space for yourself. And Stephen King said, you got to create a room that's away from things and away from all the chaos of the family. And he suggested that you put your desk against a wall so you're looking at a wall and not out the window and i have noticed i have um i signed up for a year master class i did when i years ago when we were in the little blue cottage i had master class and <clears throat> master class is about like $125 for a year. That's nothing because they have everything on there. They have gardening, writing, interior design, cooking. It's not really, I don't really think it's, I think it's filmed in a lovely way, but I don't think the classes are really that, like the gardening one had the gangster gardener on there who I, absolutely love and I can't think of his name right now but um Ron anyway I'm not gonna attempt it I can't I'm just I'm on my first cup of coffee <clears throat> the circuits are just starting to connect but um get his his you know nickname is a gangster gardener and love him but the gardening, you know, it's like inspiration. The classes are inspirational and they get you thinking, but they don't really teach you what to do, how to do, or, you know, spell it out or take it through steps. It's mostly, it's kind of like a master class. Like you already know pretty much, but it's to keep you inspired and keep you thinking and stimulated. That's how I think. Anyway, I love the gardening ones because I had the gangster gardener. And then I watched all the writers on there. And this year they didn't, I signed up again because I thought, well, you know, I just loved it so much the one year I did it. And you can sign up, but make sure and take yourself off the year. Like once you're done, make sure and unsubscribe or they'll just keep, you know, charging you every year. 
But um, I, I'm not really that impressed this year. They have a few new authors that were enjoyable to watch, but that's it. I'm like, it has been years since I've done it. You would think that they would have, you know. Oh. Joanne, I don't know if you're watching, but Joanne sent me this lotion and I'm telling you, I put it every day, I keep it on my desk. And I always, it smells so good. It smells like that, hi sweetie. It smells like that, um, oh, you remember that Banana Boat suntan lotion, oil that you'd use in the summertime before we even cared about skin cancer or sun damage? And it smelled like coconuts and pina coladas and bananas. That's what it smells like. <sighs> Thank you, Joanne. Every time I just put it on, every time before I start working, and I love it. Anyway, I have the master class. It's wonderful, but it's not that wonderful because it's been years and years, and they only added a few new writers. But I'm going to go through all the other writers because I enjoy them so much. And they've got great people Margaret Atwood. Um, Judy Bloom, David Sedaris, you know, all the fun, good ones. And, uh, and now I'm trying to redo, I'll show you the room so far. I did a little bit last night, but I gotta kind of put things away today because I've been in the middle of decluttering and then I didn't get my laundry like put away. I just have to put it on the shelves. And then I found this couch and I'm telling you, this is the kind of couch I wanted actually for years because it's simple, it's gray, it's really firm. Every couch we've had starts to just completely sink in the middle and become so uncomfortable. It may look good and then you sit on it and you're sitting in a pit, a couch pit. But this one is just simple, streamlined, and I really wanted it because I mean, it's, it's one I had in my mind forever. And it took a long time to manifest, let me tell you what. But anyway, I had a woman write me the other day and suggest that I, you know, it would be easier for me to manage my home if I stopped dragging things home. And I agree with her. I agree. But I can't, you know, she said, take a year off. I'm like, a Error, it's not gonna happen, but maybe, I don't know, I'd have to do some really strong spiritual practices around that. I just love dragging things home. But guess what? I donate, <clears throat> I give it back if it's, you know, and like yesterday we did drag this couch home. I am very happy with this couch. This is what I wanted for years, and I am not kidding. And we got rid of another, a couch and a TV. So we brought one thing home and we got rid of two things and we gave it to people who would enjoy it, I hope. Anyway, let me show you. Okay, and I've got, it's Sunday and I've got our local, this is not completely set up and obviously I have to put everything on the bookshelves. But, um, you know, this is kinda, and I have it laid out because when it's sitting up, it is a couch, but the mattress is so big and heavy, it always slides down and off. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And then I just put the living room back together. But I am digging the couch. Oh, that's a toy on the couch. Anyway, I am digging it. And we have, <clears throat> it's Sunday. So our local mountain station is playing a lot of like folk songs and and now we have some Hispanic music, and then they play gospel, and then they play Hawaiian. It's quite a collection on Sundays. I love it. Blues, old folk songs, old mountain songs. Hawaiian, the Hawaiian's really lovely. I love old gospel. Mm. I like some of the contemporary too, but they're t it's a little dramatic sometimes 
but the old gospel, nothing like it. Anyway, so today, you know, it's just so lovely. I'm doing a little administrative work on my channel. I link products. I know, you know, I complain about advertising and then I make my money through advertising. And uh, I link products and I am an affiliate of Amazon, but I do, I will say this, I link products that I really love and swear by. <clears throat> like I link the Berkey. I'm telling you, if you buy a Berkey water filter, you are saving yourself thousands and thousands of dollars a year. And not only that, you just put a stop to all the plastic bottles. It makes me crazy. I can't watch that. You know, I'm, I've am i gotten pretty good about when I go to the grocery store, I bring my own bags or I do paper because paper is at least compostable or I donate it to the food bank because they always need bags. Um, and a lot of times people don't know this, but they actually grow special tree groves for paper bags. They don't just go in and decimate forests. The plastic bags are harmful. Those are the ones that are harmful. And here, I don't know if it was everywhere in California, they were going to put a, an end to the plastic bags and then COVID hit and they brought them back, which is such a bummer. I just really wish they would stop doing water bottles. Like you could put water that there's a lot of stores that have water dispensers. And in France, they have water dispensers and water fountains, and they even have, you know, dispensers where you can buy a permanent water container. And people would throw a fit at first because everybody, you know, everybody cries about climate change and the pollution stuff. But then when you make changes, they cry about that. It's like, this is not going to inconvenience you. This is not a complicated thing. There were harder things in the past, you know, but it just means you have to adjust a little bit like you start filling up big jugs or bring your own container or bring your own bags and I really wish I I mean they like ban straws it's like that's great but they need to just ban plastic bags ban ban water bottles period and put in water dispensers everywhere and you know containers reusable containers and also you can buy bags or use paper bags and grow special groves or bamboo or hemp to, you know, make these bags and containers. And we don't even need these plastic containers anymore. You can use, you can use bamboo. You can take bamboo, you can grow bamboo and hemp and use it to make all kinds of containers and clothing and paper and everything. Like there's so much, there's so many huge solutions out there just waiting for us to go, duh. And it would also create huge economies. Like you would create new economies, new jobs. Everyone's worried about AI. It's like, well, there are all these things out here that would be so environmentally positive and create wonderful jobs for people. I mean, you know, and that's why I can't stand. I don't get, I don't listen to all this stuff online and the news and people crying and whining because I've done a lot of investigating myself. I'm not the brightest, you know, sharpest tool in the shed. I'm not an expert on anything. But I do basic, you know, searching and investigating. And I can tell you, I can't stand the whining and the crying and the complaining because there's a million solutions. Every problem people talk about, there's a million solutions. Plus, there's so many conspiracy theories and stuff out there. I don't know when everybody went so crazy or if we've always been crazy, but social media just highlights our insanity. Deep Thoughts by Kate. Okay, enough of that. Anyway, just weighed myself. Lost um, a little over a pound this week. That's not very exciting. But, you know, it's going to be a long journey. Because I got on there and then I took off all my clothes. Because I'm like, I want, I want to see some numbers going down. So as long as we're going down, so... 
This is my second week, a little over a second week, and I've lost a little over nine pounds, but I'll tell you something. The first five pounds I lost like that. That was just water weight, whatever. I mean, I literally, the next day I weighed myself and I was five pounds lighter, okay? Because I weighed myself at night after, with fully closed, filled with food, that kind of thing. But um, the first week I lost like 2.7 and now it's, I don't want it to slow down too much. But this is, I think this is how it goes. Like sometimes you're going to lose a big chunk. Sometimes you're just going to lose a pound or half a pound. As long as it keeps going down. And I have to remind myself this is going to be a long journey. I mean, it kind of angers me that you can gain weight so fast. But then it's just so much work and takes so much time to lose it. But then I guess the next time I start gorging on a cream pie, I might think about that. I actually haven't had a cream pie in a long time. But some of the things I think that's helping, you know, because I'm, I'm not really successful at weight loss. And I went on Weight Watchers last year and I don't remember losing a lot of weight. And I think one of the things that helps is making sure your gut biome is really healthy. And last year and this year, I took this mastic, it's called mastic gum. And I took it twice, I did two full months and it really absorbs all the toxins in your gut and cleans your gut out. And then I did a liver cleanse and then I did a parasite cleanse. I don't know if I had parasites or not, but if you eat meat, more than likely you might have a couple. It doesn't hurt to do it. And then I did, um, I did another gut cleanse. Was it Slippery Elm? It was something. And it was a combination of a few things that just cleansed. So I kind of did that over a period of months, really cleaned it out. What I do need to do is start taking some... Um, like probiotics and cultures and rebuilding, you know, and that really helps. If your gut is cleaned out and healthy and balanced, it helps really lose weight and balance your weight out. And another thing I'm doing this time is I'm just staying away from sugar completely. I did buy myself some chocolate rice cakes but I probably won't do that again because they, they're too many points. And then there's some sugar on them and I don't want to tempt myself. So I do not do sugar anymore at all, unless it's an ingredient that's kind of snuck into something. You know, oh, like if I have, you know, like the Gardein, if I have the Gardein uh, mandarin chicken, that's pretty loaded with sugar. So, but on that, I try not to and I'm, and I'm really, I made the chow mein from here. I'm working from Daniel Halick. He wrote all these books. He was on Weight Watchers. I talked about him before. I've got all his cookbooks. And I've been looking through them and restocking my pantry with things that he uses in cooking. You know, some things I'm not down for, like fat-free cheese. First of all, you can't even find fat-free cheese anymore. And I don't like it. It's nasty and I don't want to, um, I just got all the ultra processed food out of my cupboard. So I don't want to put it back. Oh, what's that? Um, I'll do like a low fat mayonnaise, but that's as, you know, I'm really concerned because sometimes when you start cutting out the fat, they start adding in weird fillers and chemicals and sugars. And so you gotta be careful with that. Oh, I don't know where the other books are, but anyway, I've got a few of his books. And so I buy some of his things, you know, I buy some things and I'm starting to cook. Yeah, I read over these and get ideas because I'm already stumped. I'm already a little stumped. I'm already kind of like, what do I cook next? So I have to constantly look up menus and recipes and keep my creative juices flowing. Anyway, I'm just reading um, 
I'm reading this wonderful book. Some of it's all about meditation, which kind of bores me. So I skip that. And I'm to the chapter, The Art of Awakening. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just kind of read this book quickly. Cause when they go on and on about meditation, I'm not interested. The most I'm gonna do is take a walk and just try not to think about things. Oh, it has one on psychedelics, antidepressants, and spiritual practice. Oh, okay. Anyway, so that's it. Doing a little, doing a little admin. Um, I do link things. I link my books and I link products that I really like. So if you see things that you really like, just look in the description box first. It's probably linked in there, but I only link things I really love and I've tried out for a long time. Not things that are just pretty or I just bought or, you know, just linked it because I want to sell it. You know, it has to be tried and true. All right, enjoy your coffee. It's one of those nice days. It's, uh, it's not, it's the end of July and we've had a couple 80 degree days and it's just so wonderful because it's so cool. And Bali's out here harvesting. He's harvesting my tomatoes way too soon. Yeah. Okay. And then the compute the computer. He planted a cucumber plant. Yeah. Two of them. And look, let's show him that. I mean, yeah. Well, how long did that take? I mean, I I'm like I feel maybe, like he just put the plants in right here. It's like maybe is a six week old. Six weeks, mm -hmm. like one and a half month. Oh, I thought you just put them in. Is they already bigger? Grown oh, and, okay. And be really good care they grown up. He's bigger. using. He used part of a bench. This bench was on our patio, and I was sitting on it one day, and it just crumpled right underneath me. And this was after I joined Weight Watchers. I'm freezing a lot of the tomatoes because. Yes, play. yes, but when they're like, you know, partly green now. Anyway, but Bali's so handy, he used the back for the cucumbers to climb up, which I like. Yeah. Anyway, and look at our pool. So it was really hot for a spell, and I had to put extra chlorine. The floater with the little tablet works great, unless you're triple digits for days and days, and then the pool starts to get... A little bit green and you have to throw an extra chlorine yes. but it's looking beautiful I have to go and help zucchini. zucchini and we put an umbrella out here so we open it up because you know ever since we trimmed up the tree it's like full sun all the time and so when it's triple digits the pool winds up feeling like a bath which is great I like I like it I like warm water I just pretend like I'm in the tropics, but, uh, but we need the shade. It's, you know, cause you're just on the pool getting baked.